I would love to do an L Word movie, and if we do an L Word movie, I don't want it to be about who killed Jenny. I would like it to be a movie that's, again, about love and friendship and relationships among this group of women and their new circle of friends and family. I really, really imagined that when this show went off the air after a good run, that there would be other shows, not just one, but several, that were taking up the mission of representing LGBT lives in popular entertainment, and it's just not the case. The one story that I might have not done if I had known how upset people were going to be was the story of Dana's death. I believe in the story. I believe that we told it with attention to detail and we all, including Erin, did our very best to treat it with the gravitas that it deserves. Nonetheless, people were so upset about it and for so long and I hate having been responsible for that much grief on that many people. And if I had known, if I had had that thing that you never get, which is the ability to see into the future, maybe I would have made a different choice. A lot of women wanted them to work, wanted that image out there of a successful relationship that survived ups and downs, but that really stuck. They were just a couple whom people fell in love with. I think that it has most of all to do with the two actors, the way they portrayed those characters, and the amount of love and authenticity they projected in telling those stories. I didn't know how intense the chemistry was or how intense the reaction to their chemistry would be until I broke them up at the end of season one. Boy, did I get a lot of grief. The, the grocery store clerk in Brooklyn, a Middle Eastern man, passed on a message to me that really the fate of the world hung in whether or not those two characters got back together and that I had just an immense responsibility to make this relationship work and salve over all of the ruptures. Molly, in her letter to Shane, basically was saying, I know who you are, I accept you for who you are, I'm not trying to put any strictures on you, and I still want to be with you. I can handle it all, as long as you're honest with me, Molly was saying. I believe what Shane needed to hear, because Shane genuinely loved Molly, and only broke up with her because she was afraid that she would hurt her, and if she had heard those things from Molly, I think she would have given it a go. Fate intervened. The Shane Jenny romance came together organically. It certainly wasn't something I ever planned or anticipated. Um, it didn't come together as we developed the final season. It came together towards the end of season five. And it was largely inspired by the actors um, and by one in particular who believed in the story and who injected it into the subtext of, of what she was playing. You could read more into that, I won't go into more detail, but I think that anybody who really is a devotee of the L word and who watches will know what I'm talking about. We all decided together that we wanted the final season to stand on its own and to have one overarching story that encompassed it. At the same time, I felt obliged to keep doing what we do, that is, relationships, infidelity, breakups, career upsets, all of the things that happen in day-to-day -day life that have defined the L word. We said, let's do an eight-episode miniseries in a sense. And we decided that we wanted to make it very loosely a murder mystery. I wanted to do something that was untypical of all of our other episodes. I tried to structure that last episode in order to give every single character an opportunity and a moment when she might have done the deed. I knew that it was controversial. Even some people on the writing staff felt that you couldn't end a show without answering that question, that it always pissed people off, that it was, you know, that it just wasn't done. Um, my feeling obviously, as we did end the show without answering the question, is that who killed Jenny was not the germane question. Alice is in prison for the murder of Jenny. She maintains that she didn't do it. 
I think that that remains to be seen and please draw your own conclusions. <laughs>